You know, I think that there's a renewed interest in the industry because of the Crystal Series. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what the numbers are with Crystal Series because I'm not—I haven't asked, and I probably should do that before the next con. But um, uh, if, if Crystal does well enough, they will, um, because they—they they didn't think like honestly when people came in to do Sailor Moon, they were, we were looking at this stuff going, like, ah, this is over, like this is two episodes, you know, we thought they're gonna can this. You know, and so it's like I was hoping they wouldn't because I really liked everything about it, but it was so unlike everything that they went, no. And they weren't spending a lot of money on it. And then they were surprised at this little, it's sort of like uh, a slumdog millionaire or any of those. It's like, it was like this indie thing that, that no one thought would do well that just got a cult following that, you know, was unbelievable. So it was like, um, they know that. They know that. And basically, when you're into network stuff, the key is money. It's always money. Um, so if you want it, you need to start doing that on your blog or getting on Facebook or starting a movement to get it done. And, and the cool thing about the computer age is that that's all possible. You can actually sway the influences of places like Netflix, places like any place that's going to produce. And there's such a need for content that if you, if the fans decided we want this, you could actually lobby independent producers that are large, like Netflix, to produce it. So go! Thanks for the original <laughs> question, Michael. Yeah, thank you. All right, um, we're gonna.